All right, guys, back to a new video. Today we have here the new Seat Ateca Hola FR 2022 model. And in this video, it's all about driving. We will test drive the car and we will make the conclusion in the end. Also, before we go forward, I want to tell you guys that I'm right here in Switzerland at Gauci Garage. I will leave the link in the description if you want to check them out, if you want to see the car, if you want to test drive the car, you can see it, guys, there. Now, I want to give you also the price before we start the test drive and also the technical data. The price of the car that I have with me right here, the starting price for a new car, it's 40,720 francs. But because this car is not new, uh, it's a demo car, the price is 36,900 francs. So you have around 3,100 francs discount. I will add the price in dollars so you can make an idea as well. It's a great price for an SUV and you will see guys, if you didn't see the full review with this car, uh, check out the video on my channel. There I explain you more and more about the car price and quality materials, but it's incredible how good quality the car have, how many features and options and comfort options and safety uh, options have the car in this price is just crazy. I mean, if you ask me, it's, it's a good deal. If you have to buy his cousin, Tiguan, or other car from Audi or Volkswagen Group, it will be more expensive. So you get a great discount with the same mechanical and technical stuff that Volkswagen use. So yeah, for me, it's a good deal. And also it looks very nice because Seat in the last years makes such a beautiful design. Now, guys, let me go a little bit deeper in the technical data. So the car come with a 1.5 liter TSI petrol engine four cylinders in line the power of the car 150 horsepower 250 newton meter it a, it's a front wheel drive and it's connected with a seven speed dual clutch automatic transmission the consumption of the car combined 5.4 liters pretty good consumption for an suv if you ask me and the range of the car in vltp is 757 kilometers with a fuel tank capacity of 50 liters also the co2 emission VLTP 149 grams and the top speed of the car 200 km per hour 0 to 108.6 seconds the ground clearance of the car 17.6 centimeters it comes with ventilated brake disc on the front brake disc on the rear also the turning circle of the car is 10.8 meters the trunk capacity 510 liters and if you fall down the seats completely you will have 1604 liters also the car come with uh, independent mcpherson coil spring with anti-roll bar suspension on the front on the rear we have multi-link coil spring with anti-roll bar those are the most important technical data now guys let's drive the car and in the end we will make the conclusion all right guys let's drive the car here is the key what you can do with the key lock and unlock the car and also open the trunk electrically because the car come with an electric lift gate let's go inside the car also the car come with uh, aluminum pedals guys manual adjustment on the seats but the sound insulation it's incredible good uh, if you want to find out more about what the key can do and the interior exterior i have a separate video on my channel with a full review interior exterior i talk about everything check out that video and this video is just about driving uh, the car uh, that we have right here has 16 inch rims winter tires normally come with 17 inch wind, uh, normal tires other rims but because it's winter they change it they, they change it also with the rims they put a smaller one it's better for comfort and better for economy now guys first impression the sound insulation is very good you can hear the cars outside but you can close when you close the door the sound insulation it's good it feels quite premium then we have steering wheel fr steering wheel from seat leather red stitches lovely steering wheel perfect perfect shape and also the grip and the quality it's very good we have the controls for the cruise control here we have the controls for the cockpit right here on the right side uh, also heated steering wheel we have the new cockpit by the way aluminum pedals press the brake start engine button it's here lovely 
blind spot technology in the mirror very good visibility around the windows guys big 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 windows very big windows very good visibility even in the back there because you have this window in the corners so almost no blind spot in this car it's just wonderful and also the car come with 360 degrees camera so you have a camera in the mirrors in the back in the front look at this it's just awesome and you have so many ways to see it also it comes with 360 degrees you can see right here you can turn the car and you can see wherever it's around the car here it's, it's super awesome system I love this system to be honest really really good system uh, also about multimedia about that I talk in other video climatic system work fine heated steering wheel heated seats here we have auto hold electronic handbrake also different modes three different driving modes and one individual from here from this nice wheel you can change the different driving modes so you have echo normal sport and individual on the individual you can also customize it from here steering wheel sporty normal engine sport normal echo um, adaptive cruise control here air conditioning and stuff like that i will leave it on echo but we will change as we drive we have the stall here to change the gears going reverse you can see the reverse camera going in drive it's normal drive but if you go right you can change the gears manually down and up or you can change it from the pedals super simple now i hope i ex explain you everything here in the front we have the new digital cockpit you can customize in many ways the way you want it it's super awesome one of the best cockpit of course check out more information about that in other video in the review video now let's drive it guys the visibility in this mirror also very nice mirror with tiny edges lovely visibility because you have a big window in the back right there so overall i think i explain you everything guys now let's put it in drive and let's drive the car as i said come with 1.5 liter petrol engine uh, 150 horsepower connected with a seven speed dsg automatic transmission is the transmission from uh, Volkswagen group and it's a really really good one now let's go outside here great visibility to be honest also very silent the car it's super super silent also it has this star stop engine uh, system it's super traffic today here I don't know why many cars let you hear for a while the ways change the gears right now we are in echo mode I have to tell you I'm I'm kind of a big fan of this transmission from Volkswagen they did great job with with this combination of petrol engine with this transmission you don't even feel when it's changing the gears it's, it's a such a smooth transition and those engines are quite reliable I never hear someone uh, complaining about them so um, that's why I tell you, you get a great price for what uh, this car can offer and you get all that technology that Volkswagen group implemented and try to to bring it to the market it stays also very good on the on the curves very good control good sound insulation great grip on the steering wheel perfect visibility guys you have a tall driving position you can adjust the seats manually but you can adjust it in many ways big mirrors um, I have to tell you guys you have to try this car and write me if I'm wrong with something but I tell you I really tell you the truth the brakes and the pedals we have aluminum pedals they are very smooth they feel very very good quality perfect visibility on the mirrors there and also perfect visibility up here it's wonderful it's one of the, the one of the best car in terms of visibility uh, around the windows so it should be in top there it feels very good control you can control it very easy the steering wheel it's very soft uh, it's very assisted it's more in comfort um, than more in the comfort side than in the sporty side I like how smooth are the pedals they feel quite premium it's very responsive
also the car come with lane assist guys and cruise control and you can activate it from here from the steering wheel right now I just activated I don't know if you can see it down there on the on the cockpit when the car sees the lanes then it can stay between the lanes you can see a green line there right now it's not a green line but when the green line will appear there that means you can actually the car can can see the lanes and can stay between the lanes also you can set the speed it comes with automatic uh, adaptive cruise control you can brake you can accelerate um, depend what the car in front will do so that's also a great great system press the brake slowly and then you will deactivate this system big windscreen in the front we have a big big very big windscreen and the visibility is just more than perfect also you have the navigation system in the front here where you can see it's working quite good yeah you can set it again right now the car it stay between the lanes um, it's kind of bouncing I noticed that tested before you can see it's kind of bouncing from left to right I don't trust it too much to be honest in terms of um, lane assist maybe on the highway is doing a great job but I don't know I'm, I'm really surprised usually they should use the travel assist the new travel assist level 2 autopilot from Volkswagen but I don't think they use it because that one it's much better I'm quite surprised I will test it one more time here on the road but I'm, I'm really well surprised on how good the car stays on the road uh, how smooth are the pedals great grip on the steering wheel very good visibility and also the comfort on those seats it's very very good right here if I try to test it again let's test again guys okay activate let's activate activate it right now lane assist travel assist yes it should have this travel assist but why why was better on other models this is my big question you can see right here it stay between the lanes it stays okay yeah until now it's doing good but at some point it, look at this it feels like it goes away from the lanes it's warn you to put your hands on the steering wheel and again I put it but you can see it go quite close to the lines there now for example look at this okay it's doing fine yeah look 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 this is what I mean it's kind of bouncing left right I don't know I test other cars other Seat and also this travel assist from Volkswagen and it was much much better I don't know why it's like that to be honest uh, anyway let's change the driving mode we go in normal mode right now in normal mode the steering wheel is the same soft the pedals are same acceleration acceleration it's a little bit more aggressive I can feel that that nice it feels super comfy it feels a little bit like a boat guys I don't know if you can see it but the car it's leaning a little bit left and right so I don't think you can expect let's go to sport mode okay sport mode this is really important in sport mode yeah the steering it's a little bit more it's a little bit more stiffer a little bit more stiffer you can feel that but the suspension are the same the same you see it's leaning a little bit so don't expect to have a crazy driving sporty driving feeling in this car because it's it's made for comfort this is my opinion it's crazy comfortable and for me it's great because I choose to have a comfortable car over a sporty car what I'm surprised to see is that it's incredible silent inside I mean the sound insulation is good with those 16 inch rims is 
the tires and the tire winter tires it's so comfortable over the bumps the suspension are so good and in combination with those tires it's very very smooth guys very smooth it's a very pleasant ride talking about ride you can also change the cockpit view the way you want it and I'm really curious to see what it's our consumption until now guys so if we go here so let's see since refueling consumption this is the consumption from now the trip here okay oil temperature warning speed where is that range overview here also the car stays super good on those curves it stays so so good I love it and the roundabout it stayed lovely Set this. Let me see what consumption we will get. Seven point eight liter is the consumption until now for what we drive. But I think this is the the consumption on the last three hundred eighty seven kilometers. I don't know how to set the consumption for what we drive until now it should be here somewhere I can hear already the You can see it tells you that the car can change between three and two cylinders and right now it uses only two cylinders to, in order to save more energy and some uh, more fuel so that's really awesome oh yeah oh I like that in sport mode we are in sport mode and the car it's it's quite aggressive when you accelerate you can feel the difference between sport mode and eco mode and normal mode in sport mode the car weight a little bit more with the rpm to change the gears a little bit later i can already feel that and i can feel that the pedal it's much more sensitive to acceleration and it's great that it shows me how many cylinders the car use right now in two cylinders so most of the time when you're coasting and accelerate slowly the car will use two cylinders so it's it's incredible it's incredible this new technology many people complain about the three cylinders it's not enough but guys those cars use two cylinders most of the time so that's that that's that's really really interesting to be honest two-cylinder mode so when you go when you're rolling or when you go downhill or stuff like that the car will use only only two cylinders so most of the time I think around 60% of the time uh, you will use only two cylinders so yeah now I hope you understand why they make only three cylinders because you don't need all uh, four just when you accelerate it's impressive anyway very smooth ride very good quality quite premium I like it I like what they did with the car to be honest they did a quite quite good job I can I can hear the engine in sport mode it stays at higher rpm <coughs> almost all the time and I still didn't manage to find out where is that consumption we can go 
to see the consumption also here in the in the menu guys also here for example good combination the transmission and the, the, the engine make a great job together really great job I tell you I love it driving data here so that you can see from the last kilometers but you can change this as well okay so this is my trip 17.9 17.8 this is my trip with the consumption Kind of much because I didn't drive economic, kind of accelerate and anyway, we will see at the end what will be the consumption. I like how easy it is to change the different views on the cockpit from here from the steering wheel. You don't have to take your hand off the steering wheel, all you have to do is just press those buttons here on the steering wheel and will be super super easy, you will go in different uh, modes, you can change the different views and even the, you can see the, the ambient light here in the interior, it's lovely, I mean look at the look at the nice background color it's a white a pleasant to the to the eyes consumption is going down so if you want to drive economical you can get some gorgeous consumption out of this car I don't know guys I think it's a great all-arounder in my opinion you have the, the the acceleration you have the comfort you have visibility you have the space and technology you have almost everything you need in this car also with some bigger rims you will have also a nicer sportier feeling it grips also quite well on the ground with those tires the brakes are great lovely car lovely car and if we go in eco mode right now super easy you don't have to look because you feel this wheel down here when you change it and it goes so smooth and right now it's running super smooth the engine is super quiet splendid lovely lovely great great grip on the road it stays perfect on those kind of streets I love it really really good handlings as well it feels like a little bit like a boat with those tires but you have overall good handlings great brakes you can also have some fun with the car it doesn't feel heavy like an SUV it feels quite agile quite small I like that you can park it in small spaces because it's relatively compact the turning circle Wow, it's, it's incredible agile, for an SUV it's super agile, super nice, yep. love it, love it, and the visibility is lovely. Wow, so nice, so smooth, lovely car. pedals are, are one of my favorite pedals they are super smooth they're so responsive the pedals and also the steering it's so precise 
wow for the money you get a lot of stuff you get a lot of things I'm, i don't try to make advertising for the car guys but this is what i feel and this is what i see here it's a lovely car yeah the consumption it's a little bit higher i don't understand why 16 kilometers we have 15.7 but overall overall the car it's really good it's easy to drive very easy to drive a lot of things feel premium here in the car nice car it's a very very nice car guys I like it to be honest also we have full LED lights in the front in the back we don't have any halogen light on this car also automatic high beam low beam everything all that sensors for raining for are here on the car so it's it's a lovely car really really lovely car and that was the test drive guys also it's very easy to, to park it if you go in reverse you have all that 360 degrees camera you have all that sensors six sensors in the front six on the rear look how easy it is to park it you want to park it here you park it without any problem you can see what it's around the car super super easy put it in park electronic handbrake stop the engine and that was the video guys i hope you enjoy it i hope you enjoy the test drive i hope you get some useful information from this one uh, my rating for this seat ateca 2022 model will be 9.9 .9. and why is that because i take another consideration also the price and the, what the car offer the driving feeling the pedals the direction the steering wheel the multimedia comfort on the seat taking in the consideration all those factors i get to this conclusion so 9.9 .9, this is my rating i didn't expect that before i start reviewing the car but after i review so many cars this is my conclusion also guys i hope you enjoy it i hope you get some useful information from the video thank you very much for watching my videos if you want to see the full review interior exterior with the same car check out the other video i will have a separate video with the same car uh, there you find more information about the interior exterior and options and stuff like that also thank you very much for watching if you want to buy a car from seat volkswagen or audi check out gauchi garage i will leave the link in the description uh, if you're in switzerland around here check them out thank you very much for watching guys as always i will really appreciate that uh, if you like it like share subscribe thank you stay safe and see you soon in the next one bye guys <laughs>